folks, am I Christina Aguilera in 2006? Because I'm going back to basics. I haven't talked about Torrid on this channel in a really long time. And that's mostly because I haven't shopped from Torrid in a really long time. It's just sort of fallen off of my radar. I haven't been doing a lot of clothes shopping. Uh, and so I decided as my return to window shopping, why don't I return to where it all began and do a window shopping of whatever the hell is going on on Torrid right now. Let's jump in. I decided to start in the new and now section. This is what Torrid wants to entice me with. This is their best and brightest. If I was a new customer to Torrid and I'd never familiarized myself with their offerings before, this is where I would go first. So let's see how they are trying to wow me, woo me, seduce me, get me to open my wallet. Pullover collar drop, shoulder blouse, crinkle gauze skulls ivory. She is so beautiful. Her blush looks so nice for her skin tone. The central question is who is this item for? And with this blouse, that question is being asked louder than it's ever been before. Who is this for? The administrative lead for a pirate ship? I don't know. Goth people also have office jobs, but I kind of feel like goth office wear is better than this. I, I, I would leave it to goth people to figure out how to absolutely bring the thunder to their cubicle. And I don't think they're gravitating towards this, but if any goth people are in the comments, as always, please correct me. I do love goth people and I'm a big advocate for goth rights. And I don't know if this blouse is the best representation of goth rights. Also from far away, these kind of look like the Bitcoin symbol to me. I don't know, am I hallucinating? Bitcoin, no, not Bitcoin. I wish. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do I have any Bitcoin baddies who are watching me? Hi. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. Either way, bad shirt. Me this entire time, I could have just used my microphone to film and I didn't have to run this shit in GarageBand. Am I stupid? Okay, so not a particularly strong start from the new and now section of Torrid, but maybe we can redeem ourselves. Or maybe we can't. We have a gray crew neck sweater with three hearts on the breast and love up and down the, oh, sorry, not love up and down the sleeves, low on one sleeve and v on the other sleeve. I don't like to limit my critiques in window shopping to just, that's ugly. Because it's not like comedically funny, but what, girl, come on. Sometimes I can only respond to something by saying, you want me, a woman who is hot and sexy to wear this? You want me to wear Lova? This doesn't tell me anything about love. This says I needed to go somewhere outside of my house today, which means I had to wear a shirt. That is all this gives me. All I will give this is that it is clothing and covering for the top half of your body. I really do commend Torrid for having such an ironclad commitment to making the most shapeless garments possible. You just cinch the waist. Yeah, when I went to fashion school, which I definitely did, fact checkers. They were like, the key to making a flattering dress for a plus size body is cinch it at the waist and then just drop. Just let it drop. Hips, fuck it. <laughs> Let's put a big cross right down the center of the dress to remind the wearers that the only person who should really be undressing them is <laughs> the Lord. Cold shoulder shark bite top in black. This is a masterpiece. First off, I love how the sleeves are not long enough for her arms. As a person who is quite tall, as I say all the time, I am 5'11", I constantly deal with sleeves being too short for me. And I like being able to see, before I even buy the garment, that it's already not going to work for me. For those of you who don't know, a shark bite hem on a shirt or a dress is when there are longer pieces on the side and it goes up in the center. It's kind of like a high-low, but from the other side and for shirts. So when you see shark bite, that's what that means. It has a curve in the bottom, like it was bitten by a shark. And then of course we have the cold shoulder, which Torrid is fighting tooth and fucking nail to keep alive. And then this 
gorgeous lattice work up here on the neckline. This is a great shirt to wear if you wanna show up late to work and your go-to excuse when your boss asks why you're late is that you fell into a pond full of piranhas on your way in. You walk into the office and your boss takes his comically large cigar out of his mouth and says, why are you late? And I don't want to hear any damn excuses. And you're like, all cool, calm, and collected because you know you prepared for this. Oh, Mr. Boss Man, you're not going to believe this one. I was all set to come into work. I left the house early. I had my briefcase in my and my bowler hat ready for the office. And wouldn't you know it, I accidentally fell into a pond full of piranhas. Oh boss, it was awful. It was real gnarly. But I'm still here because I care about the future of this company. And then your boss is going to give you a promotion right then and there. It's perfect. You know what, matter of fact, let me buy this. What size am I? One? I'm going to go ahead and grab a good amount of them. Perfect. I'm late to work a lot, so this is gonna do me well. Oh, what the hell is this? Crew neck sweater, Stars Gray. Stars Gray is actually a, a town name, it's a place. It's the town that neighbors Stars Hollow in the Gilmore Girls universe. It's just like Stars Hollow, except everyone's depressed because they have to wear hideous sweaters every day or they go to jail. Stars Hollow is the name of the Gilmore Girls place, right? Oh, it's in Connecticut? That's why Rory was so annoying. Okay. This, like the low heart, heart, heart V sweater from before, all I can really say about it is that it is a shirt. Like, it's a top. If you wear this, your boobs will definitely be underneath clothes. That I can promise you. I like this picture though, with the boots and the long coat and the YA novel protagonist stance. Good for you. Baby doll tunic top in Jersey Sand. Jersey Sand sounds like the name of an ill-fated resort on the Jersey Shore. Where are you going for spring break? Oh, I'm going to Cancun. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to Aruba. Where are you going? I'm going to the damn Jersey Sands. It's just all sand. No pesky beach to get you all wet and ruin your tan. This is the kind of shirt that I would have trampled over another girl to buy from the junior section of Macy's when I was in eighth grade. You could not pry baby doll empire waist tops from my cold, dead, insecure fingers when I was 14. Oh my God. I used to have this blue V-neck polka dot baby doll top with three quarter sleeves that I got from the super, super discounted sales section of JCPenney. Girl, when I tell you I put that shirt on and I felt like a goddess, I was like, oh wow. I can't see my stomach in this shirt. Therefore, not only does it not exist, I'm skinny enough to be on the Disney Channel. This model looks like she's about to drop the hardest Christian pop country album of 2009. You know what this expression says to me? It says, Carrie Underwood, count your fucking days, bitch. I decided it might be fun to take a trip into the Valentine's Day section of Torrid's website. I'm really excited for Valentine's Day this year because last year on Valentine's Day, I got dumped. So this year I get to do literally whatever I want and nobody can tell me anything. I will make terrible choices. I will harm myself and other people and I can't wait. And maybe, just maybe, I'll be doing it in some brand new torrid clothing. They really had to do my girl Brie Kish dirty like this. Why did you put her in the ugliest possible shirt? This is the strappy off-shoulder tee. Super soft black lips. Okay, that feels racially motivated, but whatever. Yeah, so we have a half off the shoulder shirt with four little straps that connect into one strap behind the back, because uh, I guess it's more aerodynamic that way. Accompanied with it is everyone's favorite feature of bad plus size clothing, the giant lip print. I don't know why this is such a common thing. I don't know a single clothing wearing person, fat or otherwise, whose preferred print and or decal on their clothing is just a big set of lips. Just on the front of their shirt. What is the purpose of this? What's the origin? Why do retailers who make clothing for fat women always... I can imagine a scenario in Torrid's offices 
where they're all set to go and they've just in the boardroom decided on what's going to be part of the new collection and what isn't and they send it off to the manufacturers and then one of them is like oh jesus christ and they're like robert what i can't believe it we forgot robert what happened we didn't put a single lip print on any of these clothes and then like the entire building just explodes like you can let one collection go with no lip prints in it. I'm sh I am promise you it'll be okay, Torrid. It's gonna be fine. I love shirts that are designed to look a little bit broken, especially single off the shoulder tee. That's one of my favorite dumb clothing motifs. It's like you've taken a regular shirt and cut up or stretched out the collar so you can wear it with one shoulder out like your Jennifer Beals from Flashdance. I like that. In that, I think it's very silly and it makes me laugh. What is this, Torrid? you accidentally snuck something decent in? So this is a mesh red heart print overlay dress. It literally is not even kind of anything resembling a kimono. I don't know why we can't just call it a sheer dress. That's very silly. Um, this belt is hideous, but I actually like this a lot. I think this is cool. I think it's quirky. I think this would look adorable over a white dress. Um, I really like this. It's probably not something I would wear myself. I don't wear a ton of mesh stuff because I have really chubby arms. And I always feel like that never works out for me. But I like this. I like the drama of it. I think it's a cute piece. I think it's subtle enough with the print, but it's still very much a statement piece in that it is a red mesh overlay dress. I wouldn't have put it over this outfit. I definitely think this works best with a dress, but okay. You get one, Torrid. You get one. I like this. Okay, I should probably take this stuff out of my car before I accidentally check out, but I'll do it later. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. I do have to say, I am kind of impressed with the fact that I put 10 of those blouses in my cart and my total is only like $340. With how expensive individual items are at Torrid, I'd expect 10 of them to be, I don't know, like a down payment on a car, perhaps the sticker price of a new Tesla. Oh, these pajamas are cute. These little like satin PJs, that's adorable. Okay. I think we might be grasping at straws a little bit here. This is just a coral pink red dress with some flowers on it. This is not a Valentine's Day item. You're probably already selling this and you're like, you know what? Let's pad out the Valentine's Day section with some red shit we already have. Put that in there. There's nothing objectively wrong with this dress. I personally fucking hate floral prints on red backgrounds, but that's my own cross to bear. I also think the neckline goes up a little bit too high. I think a little bit of cleavage is always nice. I like seeing the girls and I like letting the girls see the world. For people watching with boobs, have you named your boobs? <laughs> My boobs are named Don't Dead and Open Inside. I am about to show you two of the ugliest dresses I have ever seen in window shopping, and they both have one thing in common. Lip print! We got a lip print. Girl, who is this I, I wanna know sincerely who this dress is made for. Who walks into a store and thinks, I need something with a crisscross lattice and it needs to be Jersey, and it needs to have multicolored cartoon lips on it, and it needs to be Heather Gray and a maxi dress. It needs to hit me just above my ankles or I swear to God, I will burn this mall to the ground. And then they walk into Torrid and they see this collection of fabric scraps and they think this mall is safe for another day. Like who at Torrid was like, wow, we've got a couple hundred bolts of <laughs> Heather Gray stretch jersey fabric because we make clothes for fat women and they're not allowed to have nice looking things. Why don't we take a couple yards of this and sew it into the same basic maxi dress shape we've been selling for the past six years. But before we do that, let's make sure to get a bunch of cartoon kiss prints all over it. Otherwise, how will the fat bitches know that it's for them? I can't do this anymore, Torrid. Like why, why? 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 Why these specific design choices? I don't hate the maxi dress cut. I wish it were like actually something that would hit the floor. Like it's clearly too short, but why Heather Gray? 
you know? I'm not even mad at it being jersey. Jersey maxi dresses are great because they're really comfortable. And jersey is a wonderful fabric to make some plus size clothing out of because it stretches. That's what it does. It's like the designers at Torrid wake up every day and flip a coin to see if they're actually gonna put effort into the stuff that they design. Whoa, full circle moment here. Hold on, I'm not wearing lip gloss, I can't talk yet. As I sit here and record this and yell and scream and shout and let it all out, I am wearing a jersey dress from Torrid. Wanna see? Look what amazing things can happen when you try. This looks great. I love this dress, Torrid. Why don't you make this again? You know why I love it? Cause there's not a bunch of fucking kisses on it. Wanna see the other one? Boo. Boo, bad dress. What was the goal? What was the goal here? This is the kind of outfit that you'd see an art teacher wear in an episode of like Ned's Declassified or something. It's not real clothes. It's clothes that a funny character wears. This is like what the weird kid's mom would wear in a 2008 era episode of iCarly or something. This isn't a real outfit. Why? <laughs> First of all, I thought clothing retailers stopped making these dresses where the top of the dress is a cute print and the bottom of the dress is solid black or vice versa when I was in high school. I had shirts like this when I was a teenager and I thought they went out of style in like 2012. They probably did and that's why Torrid's still selling them because that's how Torrid approaches clothes. <laughs> just, 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 did, I just wanna find whoever designed this dress and be like, so do you like this? I don't know, it's just like exhausting looking at all this stuff and being like, you just don't want me to look cute. See, this dress is almost there. This is the Flutter Sleeve Midi Dress Gauze Floral Black. This dress I feel has fallen victim to a bit of a too many cooks situation. It's got too many design elements. It's a little busy looking. We have the cutout in the back with the tie, these big lovely sleeves, but we also have the lace trim on the neckline. It's a bit of a V-neck in the front and we have this sort of hanging handkerchief hem here. And the print itself is very loud, very busy, but not unattractive. There are things that could be done to this dress to make it a lot nicer. If it had just like a straight hem along the bottom, just like cut off these little hanging outer labia from the dress, you know what I mean? Just get rid of them. And then rather than having this lace trimmed V-neck, why not just cut a square neck? Just straight across like that. Very trendy right now. Everyone loves a square neck. You could even keep this cutout in the back or have it also be a square back and just have a really nice romantic sort of Regency style shape to it. Like, I think that that would look really nice. And it would be perfect for Valentine's Day. I would even consider buying this dress if it looked like that. But I'm also a huge sucker for square necks. It's the first thing I type into every clothing website. I love square necks. I also don't love that there's this seam running along the front, but you know, that can be fixed too. It's just like, like if I knew how to sew, I would buy this dress and fix it and then mail a picture of me wearing it to Tord and being like, this is what can happen when you try. This is such a pretty expression. I, the models always give and they are not given very much with which to give. So I gotta shout out the models. They're always trying their best. You know, in a way, stuff like this from Torrid is even sadder because it's like, you are so close to creating a garment that would actually be gorgeous and you just sort of throw a bunch of stuff at the wall and sew together whatever sticks. And I don't like that and I don't appreciate it. I wanna round this out by talking about something that I've been annoyed about for quite a while and that is the Torrid and Betsy Johnson collection. This has been out for a while but I haven't made window shoppings in a while so I never got a chance to talk about it on here. Betsy Johnson is one of the funnest designers out there. When I was growing up, I loved Betsy Johnson's clothes. I thought they were so cool. I lived to research her collections. I thought her stuff was so much fun. In a mall near where I grew up, there used to be a Betsy Johnson boutique. And I used to go there and just touch all of the frilly dresses and look at the shoes and the fancy purses. They were so cool. I loved them so much. And so when I found out that Torrid was doing a collaboration with Betsy Johnson, my heart sung, soared. 
I was so excited to see some of the cool, quirky stuff that I'd been so obsessed with as a teenager available in my size in a store that I shop at. And then I saw the collection and I realized, okay, never mind. We can't have anything. Leggings? Really? I want frills, girl. I want frills, I want tulle, I want layers. I want something big and fun. I do not want a fake acid wash sweatshirt dress with a heart on the front of it. You cannot just put the name of somebody on something and have it be inspired. Girl, are you kidding me? This looks like it was in the trash. Torrid sells so many more sweatshirt dresses than I've ever seen in reality. Tunic blouse, Georgette floral skulls. Am I being pranked? What is this? What is this even supposed to be? Why these colors? Why this print? What circumstance would anyone wear this in? The full leather collar. I'm gonna be sick. Gorgeous lipstick shade on her. Her makeup is beautiful. Incredible bone structure. Love her. But this top, once again, I don't even have jokes. This is just ugly and does not do plus size people or Betsy Johnson justice. I remember when this collection first dropped, there used to be this big frilly dress that was part of it that I guess has since been discontinued. And I wanna try to find a picture of it because it's the only thing that was in this collection that even kind of encapsulated the thesis statement of Betsy Johnson's clothing and the ethos of that era. And nothing else even comes close. Are you kidding me, Torin? Was anybody trying? at all. Frills. I wanted to take up space. I wanted to be loud. I want layers. I want tool. I wanted to take up a room. That's what Betsy Johnson making plus size clothes would do. I don't even particularly like these dresses. I think there could have been more effort put into making them a little bit more hyper feminine. This is at least a step in the right direction. I don't know why we re-upped the collection with all this malarkey. Why is this stuff that's actually cool the stuff that's out of stock? And the stuff that's left is like Betsy Johnson meets Torrid meets I don't know, an office meeting in hell. If people are into this, they're into it. You know, it's fine. They're not me. They don't have my horrible brain. But when I look at this, it just makes me sad. And it makes me feel like I'm being told that as a plus size person, I don't get to wear cool shit. I get leggings. Hooray for leggings. And I think we can end it there for this return to window shopping and return to Torrid. I don't think Torrid's going to change. I don't think it's cost effective for Torrid to change. So why would they? At the same time though, Torrid is still a resource for so many plus size and fat people out there. For a lot of fat people, they can't just disregard Torrid and go to Pretty Little Thing or Fashion Nova or Cider or Shein to find cute, trendy, up to the minute fast fashion. And if it's not Torrid, it's nothing. I don't want it to seem like I'm attacking people who shop at Torrid because they have to, or people like me on occasion who shop at Torrid and dig through all of the garbage to find something that's actually cute. But it shouldn't have to be like that. We shouldn't have to dig through. There shouldn't be this much stuff on the website that I find laughably bad. There's no happy ending here. The happy ending is that my eyeshadow looks great. How about that? Mm. Thank you so much for watching my video, but before you leave, I'm going to need you to do a quick favor for me. If you could go ahead and have an amazing day for me, that would be fashionable. And if you would like to interact with me with Twixt Uploads, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok at NisiPisa. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to use my code NisiPisa for 10% off at Torrid. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if this whole video was sponsored by Torrid? Just like Torrid entering their masochistic era. <laughs> okay, bye.